A trolley is pushed up a slope. Diagram above shows take a tape chart that show the movement of the trolley. Uh, every section of the tape contain five ticks. If the ticker tape timer produced 50 dots per second, determine the accelerations of the trolley. Okay, now, um, the accelerations of the trolley can be determined by using the uh, formula A equal to V minus U over T, right? Okay, and then um, we can find U and V easily from this uh, ticker table, okay? So this is the initial movement. Eh? So we use this to find our U. Eh? Okay. Uh, the length of the tape is uh, 5 cm. So therefore U equal to uh, 5 cm. This is the length. Eh? Okay. And the time taken is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Eh? 5 ticks. Eh? 5 tick. Uh, the frequency is 50. So therefore each tick is uh, 0 0.02 seconds. Okay. So this is equal to 5 cm per uh, 0 0.1 second and uh, this is equal to 50 cm per second. Okay, uh, that is the initial movement. And uh, for the final velocity, yeah, okay, final velocity, uh, okay, so this is the final movement. Eh? Okay, so the length is uh, 1 cm, right? Okay, it's 1 cm. So the length 1 cm, the time taken is still the same, it's 5 ticks. Eh? Okay, it's 5 ticks. Uh, 5 ticks is equal to 0 0.1 seconds. So this is equal to uh, 10 cm per second. Okay. So usually we uh, we have no problems uh, in finding uh, U and V. This one should be no problem. The problem is the uh, time taken. Okay, the time taken is the time taken for the velocity change. Yeah? Velocity change from V to U, right? Okay. Uh, so how to find the time taken? So to find the time taken, we need to know where is the V and where is the U, right? As we discussed this before. Eh? Okay, let's uh, erase this first. Okay. Now, as I told you before, the U and V that we find, okay, is the average velocity. And the average velocity is the velocity at the center here, okay? It's not the velocity here, okay? It's the velocity at the center here. So our U is here, and then so our V is also at the center, okay? This is a V, okay? So when you find the time taken for the velocity change from V to U, uh, um, you need to know where is your U and where is your V, okay? So let's say it start from here, the U start from here, and then so let's count the, the number of ticks, uh, okay? From here, to here is 2.5 tick, right? Okay, a uh, half tick, one tick, one tick, 2.5 tick. Okay, uh, so you, you shouldn't include this, uh, okay? You shouldn't include this because we, we, are, we are not starting from here, okay? Uh, so 2.5 tick here, we have five tick here, five tick here, five tick, okay? Uh, and then here, uh, also 2.5 tick, uh, 2.5 ticks, okay? Uh, you shouldn't include here. Okay, because the V is not here, V is not here, the V is at the center here, okay? So uh, totally, totally uh, the time taken is equal to uh, 2.5 plus uh, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 2.5 ticks, uh, which is equal to uh, 20 ticks, right? Okay, 20 ticks. Uh, and uh, each tick is uh, 0 0.02 seconds. Okay, so therefore this is uh, equal to uh, 0 0.4, yeah, 0 0.4 seconds. So the time taken is 0 0.4 seconds. Okay, so after we have our UV and T, then we should have no problems uh, to find uh, accelerations, right? We just plug in uh, the V, U, and T. V is uh, 10, U is uh, 50, and then uh, T is 0 0.4, okay? So by using your calculator, you should get the answer negative 100 cm per second square. Okay, so this is the answer.